Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Mickey and Makeup Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the mystery bag challenge. Now, this is a series on my channel in which I pick from my mystery bag a Disney character and then I create a look inspired by that character. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Also, be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like the video, if you like the series. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So we are only going to be doing Mickey Makeup Monday once a month, um, and it's going to be the mystery bag challenge. So as I said in the intro, I have my mystery bag right here, and it is filled with all little sheets of paper with a bunch of Disney characters on them. So I tried to put some popular Disney characters, and I tried to put some of the more unknown characters or the ones that just get less attention. So each mystery bag challenge, I'm going to be picking from this bag picking a character and then I'm going to create a makeup look inspired by that character. So I'm not doing like cosplay makeup or anything like that. I'm not trying to look like the character, um, but I'm just going to be using kind of the colors and a little bit of the style um, inspired by the character. So I do already have a video doing one of these. I think I've only done one um, and I did Maleficent that time so if you want to go check that out I will link it up in the cards above. So I am going to give a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, I'm not great at just doing like intricate looks just on the fly. I like to practice especially when I'm doing a tutorial style video. Heads up, I did already pick from the bag so I do already know who I'm going to do and I went ahead and practiced my look but I did still film. Um, when I actually picked from the back, so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so I wanted to just pop on here and real quick um, pick my character for this mystery bag challenge. Also, I just wanted to show you my shirt. Isn't it cute? Etsy. So let's go ahead and pick a name. All right. it is. Oh, Jasmine. Princess Jasmine. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so Jasmine. Jasmine is our character for today. So with Jasmine, I always imagine the color teal. Um, that's something I associate with her because of her, obviously, her outfit, her headband that she always wears with the little jewel. Definitely, I'm going to be incorporating some teal into this look. And um, eyeliner, of course. I feel like I associate eyeliner with Jasmine as well. So, for this look, I'm going to be using two palettes mainly. I'm going to be using the Soft Glam palette. This is where most of my shades are going to be coming from. And then, I'm going to be using this. This is the Lago di Como from the brand Nomad. And it looks like this. So obviously I'm gonna be using this teal shade right here. But all of our like transition shades, pretty much every other shade is gonna be coming from this palette. For the crease shade, I wanted kind of a I wanted kind of a pinkish shade, but also kind of a brown shade. So I'm gonna mix this one right here, Dusty Rose with burnt orange. This is actually my first time doing this exact look. I did something different yesterday and I didn't end up liking it, but I thought in my head, I was like, oh, instead I'm gonna do this and this and this. And so I didn't practice it, but I practiced something that didn't end up working, <laughs> which is why I'm glad I practiced it. I definitely want to create that like angular, that point. All right, so then I'm gonna go into the shade. I wanna create kind of a dark, kind of smoky outer edge. So I'm gonna mix the shades Noir and Cypress Umber, these two shades right here. This is what I kind of am doing different from how I practiced it, and so I hope it turns out okay. I'm going to try putting a little bit more of the Cypress Umber in there. It's getting a little too black. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with just the Cypress Umber. That's the dark brown shade. 
and I'm gonna come in a little bit more with that shade. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go into the shade Glistening. That is this shade up here. And I'm gonna put that kind of in the middle of my lid, kind of like the middle third. So now I'm gonna switch over to the Lago di Como palette from Nomad. And we're gonna go into the shade Spesato this one right here. It is, uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is kind of a shimmery shade. And I'm gonna put that on the inner third of my lid. So now for the lower lash line, maybe mix burnt orange and sienna. Then I'm gonna go into the shade that we used on the top, glistening. So this is just gonna go like in the middle, third right there. And then I'm gonna go back into the Nomad palette and into the shade Pisato right there. Put that kind of in the inner third and in the inner corner. <laughs> Just got a bunch on my face, that's okay. Like so. All right, now for eyeliner. This is the Sugar Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner in I'll Be Black. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do some liner. I'm almost tempted. I think I might try and do this with just um, eyeshadow. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you might know that that is my preferred way of doing an eyeliner look is to have that like faux liner to do it with just eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go into the shade Noir. All right, so we're gonna finish up the look a little bit with the rest of our face products. So, I am gonna use some bronzer. This is the Essence Luminous Bronzing Powder. Definitely associate some like glowy bronze look with Jasmine. completely forgot about mascara. I kept I kept mascara and brows. What am I thinking? So mascara, I'm gonna use my favorite, the False Lashes Mascara, Extreme Volume and Curl. Okay, so I think we're definitely looking a little more complete with the eyes. Um, so I am gonna put on some blush, but I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it pretty natural. This is Essence the Blush. This is the shade Befitting. All 
All right, so for the lips, I'm gonna use, this is the Plump Line Lip Liner in Dolly Danger by Buxom. We're gonna go over it with the, I forgot what this is called, lip cream. It's in the shade, lip cream, I think it is lip cream. But it's in the shade Going North, the Anna shade. All right, so this is the final look. I am actually really loving it. Like, I feel like I don't do a lot of smoky looks, but when I do, I end up really liking them. And then I definitely don't use a lot of blues on my channel or in real life. So, I mean, not that my channel's not real life, but you know what I mean. Off camera. And I love this lip with this look. Love it, love it, love it. I really like how it turned out. I was really upset because my practice run did not go well and I ended up just like taking everything off my face and being upset about it. But um, yeah, I like how this looks a lot and I definitely think you can see the Jasmine inspiration from this. All right guys, so that is it for today's video and today's Mickey and Makeup Monday. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Also be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like this video, like the series, stay tuned for another Keep or Declutter video that will be coming on Thursday. Ooh, or maybe tomorrow. Actually, it's coming to it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Never mind. And there's also one coming on Thursday. I'm still trying to catch up. If there's anything that you guys would like to see from me, any requests for products you'd like me to try out, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.